Welcome. In front of me is an iPhone 11 Pro Max and today I'll show you how to migrate your data from Android device to an iPhone. So before you get started on your old device, you will need to download a, a iOS Mover app basically. So you just unlock the device and go into the Play Store, wherever that is here, right here. And from here you want to search for Move to iOS and download it. Now, as you can see, I already have downloaded it, so I don't need to. And from there, on the iPhone, you want to basically progress with the setup till you get to the point where it gives you the option to move your from Android to iOS. So let's get to that point. And there it is. So you have the move data from Android, so tap on it, and then you have a message where you can get the app from, so move to iOS, download it from App Store, tap on continue, and here is the number that you will need to put into the app that we have downloaded. So tap on the app on the Android that you have downloaded, tap on continue again, and agree, and then next, and put the number that you have on the iPhone to the Android. So 821, five, four, four. And it automatically gonna start connecting to it. Now I'm not entirely sure how it moves the data. I think it might be through the Wi-Fi. So it would probably be advised for you to have connection to network. And uh, also it didn't really give me any option right here. So just tap on done. So it basically copies everything. Uh, before, you should get a little message box uh, with selection that you can just check whatever you want to move. But I think before I tried this before, um, it just automatically went straight back to copying it without actually giving me the option. So super mighty nice of them. But you would basically have the option to copy. I mean, in this case, on this device, I only had two things. I think like uh, Google, sign in so basically the account and uh, and some data there was nothing really else on this device the first device but in normal circumstances you have you should have an option to copy messages emails and basically everything that is on the device so yeah just up and i agree now that is basically how you do it i don't think i will have any way of showing it an effect on this device considering there is nothing really to move and that's probably for the better because I'm not sure if I would be moving, let's say, music or something like that, how long it would, it would take. Let's just continue. And let's see if there is like any indication that... that I have some kind of data copy. I would assume it would be probably in like Google. If, let's just see if there was even logged in, and it had to be. But yeah, I mean, the gist of it is that's basically how you would do it. So yeah, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.